Hey guys, it's Alex. Um, I wanted to show you guys uh, something that I've been getting asked a lot over and over and over and over is to review data logs. Um, it's at the point where I'm getting data logs all hours of the night just so that people can look at them. And half of the time, the data logs are pretty simple to read. There's just a couple of basic things I'm going to show you on this video. And sorry for the crudeness of the video. I have my cell phone up to this uh, computer, but I just want to kind of give you a quick look as to what to look at when you're data logging or you're looking at your data logs. There's a couple reasons you have to know how to read logs. First of all, you want to make sure, you know, the changes that are made in your car are actually taking place, how your car's health is doing, all that shit. So let's go open a file. Okay, I want to open a data log file. First of all, download, download SCT Live Link Gen 2. Okay. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at logs from a 2015 Mustang that was bone stock. Okay, this gentleman asked me to come up to the track and take a look at his log, you know, log the car, take a look at what's happening. He said the car kept feeling like it's falling on its face when he would launch out of the hole. I said, okay, let's take a look. So when you open a data log file, it looks like this fucking mess, this mumbo jumbo of bullshit that you don't even know what the fuck to look at, right? It's so confusing. Oh my God, it looks like a heart attack. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's take the mouse and we're going to go right down here to this, you know, a uh, second to the right icon and we get rid of everything except what's highlighted. Now, if you see the check mark, the thing that's open is RPM. That's what I like to start with. I like to start with RPM. So when you look at this, let's max it out. Go up here, go to max. Pew. Okay, this is the whole data log. So if you look at it closely, it kind of makes sense. Okay, think of it this way. This is first, second. So, so one to two shift. So one, uh, uh, uh. okay. So this is fourth. This is where he rings it out. Okay. Now we're going to see how fast he was going forth. See, I leave the cursor here and we're going to look at mile per hour. Do, 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 the fuck is mile an hour? Yeah, I'm doing this uh, one shot because I don't want to edit this. Okay. Right here. 106. So, okay. So we're on the right track. So there's mile an hour. Mile an hour climbed with the RPMs. That's good. Let's erase mile an hour. And I'm going to look at pedal, meaning what he's commanding, what he wants the car to do. The way you highlight is you right click, hold it down, and drag it across. Okay. Now, what that does is that zooms in, it makes it bigger. Okay. So basically, when you see this up here, this, you know, square up here at the top, he's to the wood. When it drops off here, he's off the pedal. So on the pedal, off the pedal. Okay, let me get rid of RPM. Okay, so this is his pedal. First, second, third, fourth. Okay, so we want to see what the car's throttle is doing. So pedal is what he's commanding. Let's see what the throttle is doing. And that's usually ETC actual, electronic throttle control, I believe, actual. Boom. Okay, there's obviously a difference right here. He wants, he wants all of it, but the car is saying, fuck you. Well, why is it saying fuck you? I thought he had traction control on. Nope, we confirmed traction control wasn't on. Nothing of the sort. So, throttle, he wants all of it, but the car is saying, nope, fuck you. But in second gear, fine. Third gear, fine. Fourth gear, fine. So what's happening? What is happening? So we said, do another run, try something else. So I'm going to open another data log file. Run number two, same deal, down here, this one, click it, it gets rid of everything except what's highlighted, which is RPM again, I'm going to max it out again, so go to max, boom, here we go, there are the runs again, okay, you're going to start seeing a pattern when you start learning how to read these logs, this right here is your run, okay, this is probably his burnout, this is his run, okay. All right, so back to it, right? RPMs, I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to do pedal position. Okay, he wants pedal. So he obviously lifts between the shift. Let's see what the car did. Electro ETC actual. Again, ETC, click it, and boom. Again, the throttle is limited. We don't know why the fuck it's happening. So I started thinking, okay, well, this is a bone stock car. The way he was actually launching at the track was slipping the clutch, you know, slowly taking the clutch out. That's usually the way I like to, you know, the launch a car that has street tires or drag radials on a stick. But since clutch protection is still turned on on these cars, 
guess what? The car is trying to protect itself by limiting the throttle so you don't burn the shit out of the clutch. So I said, you know what, dude? Dump the clutch the next run. Just fucking dump it at about 2,500 RPMs. Dump it. And that'll take clutch protection away. It might chatter the wheels. It might wheel hop a little bit, but it won't limit your throttle anymore. The car was going like 13.5, 13.6. So let's look at the last data log. Run four. Again, you're going to be become a pro at this. And then you go to max. Yes, you can do it. All right. <laughs> All right. RPM. Again, let's see what he wants, which is pedal. What the car gives him. Boom. They match. So what happens? The car was going into severe clutch protection. Basically, every time he slid the clutch out real slowly, it wore the clutch out. And for whatever reason, the car's logic said, nope, when, you know, I'll put shaft speed does this and the RPMs do that, we're going, you know, we're going to protect the clutch. But when you dump the clutch on a car that has a bone stock tune, there it limits basically clutch protection. So basically, he's absolutely getting all of it right here. There's not much, you know, clutch protection going on. He wants the throttle. It's given to him. So again, this is what he wants and what the car gives him. See? Full throttle. So first, lifts. Second, obviously second's pretty short. Third, fourth. Okay? Reading data logs is a bit of a pain in the butt, but once you get it, you're going to get it. So... Now we're gonna look at timing. I'm sorry for the length of the video, but look, we gotta get through this shit. Just so I don't have to make another video and you guys don't have to hit me up at midnight about how to look at logs. The way I look at logs, timing wise, I highlight the last gear run, the last wall pull. This is fourth gear out the back. Okay, fourth gear out the back. Now I'm gonna look at your timing. Boom. That's your car's timing, okay? So it's up to about 24. So this is a bone stock car. I think it sees 25 max, 25.50. Then it starts to go down. We want to make sure it's not knocking. So we go to the knock, highlight knock. Nope. See, it's actually negative knock, which means it's adding timing. Eh, probably saw a little bit of knock there. Yeah. Eh, not bad. Not bad. And then, you know, all the way out the back. You know, seven seven thousand RPMs or so. This thing was adding timing again. Negative knock is a good thing. Okay, negative knock. All right. So when I look at your logs and you, I tell you to do a watt hit. You put it to the wood, third gear, and this is what I look at to see how your fueling is. Basically, how everything is doing. Once you learn how to do this, you don't have to bug us tuners all the time saying, "Hey, what the fuck? Look at my log." And then you can actually call out a tuner that's telling you it looks fine when in actuality you probably have you're probably a lot knocking like a motherfucker and they don't want to tell you sorry for the long video guys i just want you guys to learn a little bit about how data logs are read so that you guys anyone that has a modded car that has wide bands sorry camaro guys you still don't have wide bands in the fucking things what year is it uh you guys that have wide bands in the shit can pretty much monitor what's going on see what your air fuel ratio is all that shit it's all here learn a log Learn this, you mod your car, you should know how to monitor your car via a data log. Thank you.